What's going on everyone? My name is Farid Mornias and we are back again. In today's video, we're gonna speak about the battle of blue fragrance. Not la battle, tapi I will tell you which, which one that you should try, whether you should buy this one or whether you should not buy that one. Stay tuned until the end because kalau korang jenis yang guna satu perfume untuk all occasion, any occasion, any weather, any activities, then this video is the one that you are looking for. So guys, if you love fragrance, you love to smell great, you love to get compliments, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Ding! All right, without further ado, let's jump start with the first fragrance in the list. This one is Bloody Chanel Eau Toilette. Okay, this is the king of blue fragrance. Apa yang korang dapat with this fragrance is a very nice lemony, zesty lemony with a very nice bergamot twist on it. Bergamot is very prominent in this fragrance. As it turns down, korang akan dapat satu smokiness vibe, smoky vibe from incense. So incense ni buat macam, wah, lebih masculine, lebih powerful, lebih dominant. Tambah lagi dengan patchouli dekat bawah tu, ui, dia memang air up the apa orang cakap the darkness dalam perfume ni and a very nice sandalwood at the bottom with a very nice mozy feel from the vetiver i really love vetiver vetiver is one of my most favorite note dalam perfume dia lebih dia buat macam kita macam dark mysterious macam tu so should you buy bloody chanel in my opinion yes any bloody chanel will get the job done but i will advise you to try on the Eau de Parfum because it has a very nice longevity from the parfum and a very nice projection from the Eau de Toilette. Eau de Parfum is the best one. Try out Bleu de Chanel. The next one in the list, this one is Dior Sauvage. Alright, Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage ni another mainstream fragrance in our community. In Malaysia lah, tak tahu kenapa, tapi kalau korang pergi mall, korang pergi airport, pergi KLIA, at least lah, at least tiga orang lah pakai Dior Sauvage. I can guarantee you that. Powerful bergamot with a very masculine vibe daripada peppery note. Dia very peppery, so dia macam dominant lah. Lebih apa masculine macam tu. Peppery, bergamot, pas tu korang akan dapat ambroxan. Ambroxan ni dia buat perfume jadi a little bit sour, tapi in a good way. Lepas tu korang akan dapat, apa orang cakap? Very powerful uh, vibe daripada shower gel. So shower gel ni, dia not bukan shower gel macam shower gel Adidas ke apa tau tapi just imagine shower gel high end punya shower gel ha dapatlah Dior Sauvage macam tu je simple Dior Sauvage is a simple fragrance that you can simply pakai lepas tu keluar it gets the job done also the performance in this fragrance is incredible as well performance longevity jangan cakap lah projection kau masuk hole masuk hall apa examination hall ke kau masuk study hall ke lecture hall ke confirm lah semua akan macam ui sedap ke baru kau simple serious try out your sauvage so should you buy your sauvage in my opinion 100% yes but 100% also no because yes if you want something that you can wear anytime anywhere no if your friend dah pakai your sauvage tak payah pakai confirm lah because to me at least lah at least orang lah kalau dalam satu apa macam satu group kawan-kawan ni kan at least orang akan ada pakai Dior Sauvage try lah Dior Sauvage next one in the list I don't have it with me but this one is Prada Luna Rosa Carbon this fragrance bau dia sama macam Dior Sauvage like I have mentioned just now Dior Sauvage tapi just imagine dia lebih apa orang cakap lebih rounded inoffensive less peppery, less zingy sebab Sauvage ni very zingy at some point korang akan rasa macam serabut, cloying tapi Prada Luna Rosa Carbon ni korang pakai, korang akan macam relax dia berfilm dia memang relax simple, easy, inoffensive yet people love you with your smell macam tu je, simple Prada Luna Rosa Carbon is a tamed down version of Dior Sauvage maybe because a well-rounded lavender dekat situ okay, that's all okay, it is an alternative for Dior Sauvage, kalau korang dah bosan Dior Sauvage, korang boleh try Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. So, should you buy Prada Luna Rosa Carbon? In my opinion lah kan, I won't suggest you to grab something yang macam, what, macam lebih kurang. So, in my opinion, no. I won't suggest you to grab Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Even to me, it is a great fragrance in my opinion. Maybe because, uh, tapi performance dalam perfume tu, the average. So, Korang nak bau macam Dior Sauvage, baik korang ambil Dior Sauvage. Faham tak? 
Plus uh, performance memang Dior Sauvage memang top notch. Tapi Prada Luna Rosa Garbon dia macam tak berapa nak sangat. Dia macam average performance. So just go for the highest lah. Ambil lah Dior Sauvage. Why would you bother nak ambil something yang lebih bawah kan? Okay. So no for me untuk Prada Luna Rosa Garbon. The next one in the list, this one is Coach for Men Body Toilet. Coach for Men Body Toilet is a fragrance yang ada pear note. So dalam perfume ni dia ada grapefruit, dia ada pear, dia ada lavender juga. Okay, simple. Let's make this one as simple as possible. Just imagine Dior Sauvage, kau buang zingi, kau buang peppery tu, kau buang amber accent tu kakak amber grease, and then kau nak tambah pear. Pear ni dia akan buat perfume dia macam subtle, inoffensive, very suitable kepada yang pergi ke office dealing with a lot of people and to me this one is very good for the teenagers yang pergi sekolah as well as yang pergi university so kalau pergi lecture hall kalau pakai ni it is offensive but still ladies will tell you you smell great and your friends your male friends your apa girl friends your girl friends your girl friend ah will tell you, you smell great as well so should you buy coach for men or the toilet in my opinion no need lah actually you don't have You you don't have to buy this one. You don't need this one in your collection. Okay, kalau kau nak perfume yang macam macam ni, baik kau ambil perfume yang I will mention after this, which is to me much better. Even though this one dia macam slightly different, uniqueness memang ada dekat sini, tapi dia macam boring sikit. Easy to like, very accessible, get your compliments, but a big no for me because of the performance. But if you want uniqueness, a little bit twist of uniqueness, try out. Coach for men or the toilet, tapi to me, you don't need this fragrance. So it is a no. The next one in the list, this one is another Swiss Army fragrance, and this one is my favorite. This one is Versace Dylan Blue. Okay, Versace Dylan Blue. What is my take on this one? Actually, kau boleh je tambah Dior Sauvage dengan Aqua Di Gio. Pas tu tambah sikit Tonka Bean vibe tu, dapat lah ni. Okay? Okay, simple. Shower gel vibe daripada Dior Sauvage. Shower gel. Tambah dengan marine or aquatic note daripada Aqua Di Gio And then korang tambah dengan Tonga Bean punya note Dapat lah ni Alright Just imagine shower gel Marine, slight marine aquatic with a very nice sweet undertone You will get Versace di Lembu Price point, no problem Memang good lah Price point in terms of price point is good Performance is good as well At least 6 to 7, 7 to 8 around that area to me is sufficient enough because you pay for this kind of price memang okay lah apa nak complain kan so this one is a good one alright this one memang you versatile lah anyway anytime any occasion you can grab this one and simply the, the teenagers yeah the teenagers should try this one because it is cheap price point dia lebih kurang dengan coach coach for men tadi instead of get coach for men you should grab this one so should you buy Versace Dylan Blue. In my opinion, yes. It is a big yes for me. Try out Versace Dylan Blue. Last but not least, the last fragrance that I would like to show you is Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. Alright, this is the one. Okay, Stylen, dia punya botol, the Y macam ni. Okay, perfume ni simple. What's my opinion on this one is tambahkan uh, Pakaraban Invictus dengan Blue blue scent daripada Bleu de Chanel Okay Ya yeah, macam bau shower gel daripada Blue, Bleu de Chanel Kau dapat this one Okay Apa yang kau dapat this one is grapefruit Dapat apa Sage I'm not sure if there is a grapefruit in this fragrance But sage is there And this one is blue scent tapi dia very sweet Up to the point yang kau rasa macam Asal apa ini manis sangat Padahal dia blue scent Shower gel Just imagine shower gel yang Tambah-tambah manis-manis tu Okay And manis dia bukan manis yang biasa tau Bukan vanilla or tonka bean Manis dia pada bubble gum Dia macam bubble gummy sweet Yang sama macam Pakaraban Invectus So Performance is great Performance is incredibly great Okay Tapi price point mahal sikit lah Dia macam Dia lebih kurang macam Chanel Lebih Dior macam tu lah So should you buy Yves Saint Laurent Y Or the Parfum In my opinion Yes Alright But it is not a necessity Your necessity is perfume yang I will mention after this And to me, this one, dia bukan necessity Tapi, should you buy it? Yes, because this fragrance is a modern twist on part of the blue scent And dia memang lain lah daripada blue scent tadi Sebab dia guna bubble gummy sweet tu So, 
This one is Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. So guys, ada tiga perfume yang top tier in my opinion daripada Blue Scent and they are Bleu de Chanel, Bleu de Chanel, Dior Sauvage and also Dylan Blue by Versace. As simple as that because tiga ni, korang dah ada tiga ni, simple, okay? Tak perlu dah nak risau nak ambil yang lain. Maybe you can try get something else like the others tapi ni, these three are my top three, okay? So guys, that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is very helpful to all of you. And don't forget to hit like button, leave some comments, and also subscribe my channel to get more fragrance-related content in the future. Korang komen lah sikit kat bawah apa korang punya favorite perfume untuk blue scent ataupun any any blue scent that I need to try or I need to review in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember, love, power and strength. I see you guys very soon.